This video covers Power SDR 2.8.0.27 and everything I've done since the last video, which is the, the 0.18. <clears throat> so um, I guess when I last left off, it was the scanner. I've I've added a little bit to the scanner where this this is pulling up from memory. So you you cursor in here and then you can type whatever you wanna type in here. In this case I'm looking at um, a digital mode stenag and it, it pulled up the different ones and I can run the memory scanner but I can also just click directly uh, I can stop the scan and I can you know I can click on anything in the list it's, it's just like going into the memory and doing it there but in this case I've narrowed it down to just whatever I typed in here and it put it up on the on the screen there I've got another thing that I'm working on here this this signal identifier uh, when you click that on it basically uh, tries to identify just the the remnants of signals here you select the threshold that you want and you can see a green line and a, and a a yellow line here, a pink line underneath kind of showing what the computer thinks the width of the signal is and these little square green uh, are showing you the peaks of the different signals. I'm hoping that later on I can actually identify the signals so you can turn that on and off. That's it for the scanner. The uh, other, let me go back to 40 meters here, the other uh, thing I've added now before you, know, you can click on here and cycle through the different meters. Uh, now what I've added is if you click on the bottom meter that you, you can go into setup, uh, you can go into transmit and activate the second meter. And either you click here or just click on this meter and it, and it will move this up to the um, uh, to the top position here. You got to you got to click on the bottom part of the meter, and then it, it toggles it between the top and the bottom. So now you can have both meters up at the top. And uh, so when I transmit, uh, it'll activate both meters. Now I've added something else to this. Now if I select mic microphone for this bottom one. Uh, and then I talk into the actual mic. Hello. So I'm actually monitoring the microphone while I'm receiving. So I'm getting my signal there, monitoring the microphone. If I key up the radio, then the microphone just continues to operate whether I'm keyed or not. Just in the mic mode, it actually gives you the, the dB value of the microphone threshold. It doesn't work for any other mode. You know, like uh, if I were to select ALC, it's it's just dead until I key the radio but in mic mode it becomes live and it's only for the second meter so that's um, something else that I've added uh, I have also in the spotting I uh, improved the time sync feature uh, now if you if you launch power SDR in admin mode you need to launch it in admin mode so that it gives the privilege of, of power SDR to change your your computer's time clock so I click the time sync button and it and it successfully synced uh, to a time server I up here at the top I've got a list now of time servers because I found that a lot of these uh, the government NIST time servers just get bogged down uh, 24 hours a day they're just bogged down by time requests from around the world I guess so I've added a couple other ones on the list here and you can select uh, a you know different one and 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 it should be just as accurate as any other one but it seems like the the ABC time servers down here they they just don't um, don't work very well and the other thing I've added to I, I fixed down here is when you want to use HF you know if you actually want to go to HF and use WWV uh, I've improved this a little bit. I um, I, I increased the receive buffer size, which just basically goes into the DSP and increases the RX buffer size to 4096, if it wasn't already at 4096, to improve uh, the signal detection for um, you know for picking up time 
directly from the HF airwaves. Uh, I've also improved the um, the DX location file for uh, a lot of these countries. Uh, you know, as as I've watched a few contests go by, and then and I've had to improve the um, the DX location list for countries that weren't on on my list. And I've also uh, updated the SWL, the shortwave list. Um, so that's all been updated. And uh, I think that is about it for this one.